Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a video in Titanfall, and you probably didn't see this coming if you've been a long time viewer. Uh, well, I seriously doubt there's a lot of those. But anyway, I picked up Titanfall through Xbox Live, uh, the the marketplace. It was on the store. Uh, it was. This is actually the, I got the, what do they call it? Uh, I'm trying to think of the name. The Deluxe Edition. And it comes with all the map packs, the season pass, which is kind of weird because I don't know why you need a season pass if all three map packs are already out. And part of the, you know, part of the the deal, which kind of confusing. But anyway, you get the season pass and the three map packs and the base game, obviously. All for, well, I got it for about $13, which was a steal. I mean, I, I like the game. I, but I traded it in a while back because I didn't feel like it was it was kind of getting repetitive and kind of a little bit of a bo little bit of you know what I mean it's, it, it's fun it's solid but it kind of lacks a little bit in the content division but it this actually added uh, see there's about three maps per pack there's three packs so there's nine new maps and you also gotta think that they also added updates like game types they added titan os voices they've added like loadouts they voted they added the ability to set specific loadouts for your get per game mode and just a bunch of that stuff that's the it's a little things but it really says that they care about what people are asking for because they put in private matches after people said that they wanted those. They put those in. They, I think maybe people wanted like the horde mode and they, they put that in. I mean, that's, that's an entire new game mode that, you know, they, they never said anything about adding that in at the very beginning of the games and through its life cycle. They added that in. I mean, I mean, I will say that yes, why it did, or did lack some content at the very beginning, I will say that if you get it now, it's, I would say almost an entirely different game. It's like they took that game, just made new content, and I would say that if this is what the game was like when it first released, I would say that everybody would have been getting it a, a solid 10 out of 10. Now, moving on to the actual like stuff, is there has been a lot of updates. Now, not per se like patches. No. Like, there. this is one of the only games I actually played that worked every time I played as soon as it launched it was fine it worked smoothly even the beta was fine I mean even uh, even now a lot of games you can't even say that especially uh, the new 2004, 2004 2014 releases that I will admit that some of those are broke have been broken and I would say that the majority of those have been fixed and but this game this game launched and it was fine. It played perfectly. It, it's uh, I think 1080p. I'm not sure. I think it was like uh, 792. I think they actually might have increased that later on. Well, I do know that it's 60 FPS, and it's the only game on Xbox One so far that's a solid no flame no frame jump 60 FPS, and that's saying a lot. I think, and I think a lot of people are saying that's because it's it's running off the Source engine from Valve, and uh, while it's still modified a, a lot, they they said that throughout the promotional period that it was it was it is on the uh, Source engine, but it's a heavily modified version of it. But anyway, moving on is I want to say the DLC. I didn't think they would be that you know kind of eh. I was thinking initially. But as soon as I started playing these maps, I would. It kind of felt like. It felt like the base maps, but you know, obviously fresh because they uh, they were new to me. And that's something I can can't really say a lot about of uh, most games. Is like some of these are they kind of feel like force, but this game just adds on to it. I'm I'm rambling on there, but moving on is like some of the the. I'd say little things also is the the Titan customization. They added Titan OS voices. You can new you can choose your the voice that your Titan uses, and that's actually uh, pretty neat. 
because your Titan actually talks a lot more than you think. And there's this one voice, Sid. He sounds awesome. I think he uh, sends for something like, uh, I can't remember, but he is the most, they said he's the aggressive OS voice. That uh, and he sounds pretty cool. If you got the game, go check it out. And there's actually the black market. I I forgot. I was I wasn't even going to talk about that. Kind of it kind of slipped my mind. But the black market, you can sell your burn cards. You can get credits through playing. I think you initially get ten thousand points because I started the game today, and I had ten thousand points, and I haven't done a thing in a couple months, and I hadn't played since it got updated a lot like this. So I'm guessing everybody starts out with uh, ten thousand credits. And you can pretty much you can buy packs of burn cards. You can buy the OS voices, emblems, emblems for their titans. I'll talk about that a little in uh, a second or two. Is uh, you can also buy uh, Ford certificate. And what that does is once you buy it, it I mean it's pretty pricey, but it's pretty valuable if you're going for the regions. And basically what it does is it takes a challenge and it completes it. Like you don't have to do the challenge; it just completes it. I think you get. I think you get all the XP for it. I don't know if that's sure, uh, sure, sure of that or not because, uh, you know, can be a little bit of cheating there. But anyway, there has been a lot of work done in this game, and I would say that if you haven't picked it up before and you're still kind of on the fence, or, or maybe you just you saw these all these deals and you're like, oh, maybe I should get that. I would say if any of these games. You should get this one. I mean, even if you're not a huge FPS fan, I'll say just check it out. It's definitely worth worth the now. I would say it's probably brought back up to about sixty, fifty dollars. But if you were lucky enough, like I was, to get it last Friday for thirteen, then it was definitely a steal. I would say that that increased the player base a good amount because obviously. It's pretty much the entire package, and it really is underpriced. I mean, all that for under twenty dollars. So, hope you guys enjoyed this short video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And you can definitely expect more Titanfall content now on my channel. So, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys next video.